Good evening, everybody. Hello. It's good to be back. Ah. It's like I've never been away. All right, let's, first of all, let's just uh, get out the menu music. A bit loud, you know. And then we'll chew the fat for 10 minutes. And then we'll play the game. <sighs> oh, love, let's pause it for a second. Do we still get music if we pause it? Don't get the crackling fire. Or do we? We're getting something. A bit of ambiance. A bit of ambiance. Right, anyway, good evening, everybody. I'm back after my adventures on the on the high seas, sailing around the Mediterranean, soaking in the the rays of the thirty plus degree heat, and uh, well, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure most of you do know, uh, I was struck ill on holiday. Yeah, went on the Friday, had a sore throat from the Wednesday. Started with a scratchy throat on Wednesday, remember? I had my COVID test on the Wednesday. Started with a scratchy throat. Got, got me a bit worried because I'd been sat next to somebody with COVID the week before. Uh, anyway, tested negative. All went okay, so got on the ship as normal. By about Saturday, it felt a little bit better. I thought, well, you know, sore throat's going, not a problem. And then Sunday, it took a turn for the worst. Like swallowing razor blades, as the saying goes. It was uh, quite quite nasty. And uh, on the Monday, no better. But in addition to that, I was starting to struggle to eat because I was having trouble swallowing my food. And uh, it was also affecting my voice. I was talking really bit bizarre. And my mum's like, you don't sound any different. I'm like, mother... I can, I'm talking different, I can hear it myself, what the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, so, considering that I'd had this issue now for some time, this all throat since the previous Wednesday, it's now Tuesday morning, I get out of bed and for the first time, I'm struggling to eat, you know, struggling to speak, throat is, re is feeling like it's really bad. Only on the Tuesday did I decide to look in my own throat. You know, me being me, ah, it'll be fine, it'll just it'll sort itself out. Anyway, so I look in the mirror... And was met with the most horrific sight of just loads of white spots all over the back of my th throat on my tonsils. And I thought, oh, I think I might have tonsillitis. <clears throat> so I rung the medical facility thinking, Sh shoot, <laughs> there's going to be a medical bill here, a medical bill here now. Uh, I rung them up and they said, oh yeah, you could come down. It's $97 for a consultation. I'm like, well, I need a consultation. I'm... I think I got I think I got tonsillitis. Anyway, so they did a COVID test first, and that was negative, of course. Uh, went down to the medical facility, had the the blood pressure done and everything else, and then the doctor came in, took one look in my throat, which went, "Oh dear, that's bad." Uh, so I had to have a couple of a couple of steroid injections there and then, because you were that concerned about the swelling. She said they're almost touching your tonsils, which could be a breathing uh, problem very shortly. So I'm going to give you two steroid injections right now to take the swelling down because I'm quite concerned. And I'm like, oh, God. Uh, and she went, uh, yes, uh, the injections will be in your backside. <laughs> so I was like, I said, what? I said, uh, me, 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 me. I said, what, in my ass? <laughs> she, she went, yeah. <laughs> I thought, holy, holy embarrassment. Uh, but I said, whatever needs, to, whatever needs to happen, needs to happen. Just, just, just sort this throat of mine out because it's terrible and to the point where I don't like needles, but I thought, well, I can't see them because it's in my ass. So I'll be looking one way and it's going up in my backside. So do you know what? If it's going to help this, because at this point I was getting really, really miffed off with it, fine, not a problem. And um, a course of antibiotics and steroids. So that was on the Tuesday. Not until the following Tuesday did it go away to the point where I could enjoy my food again without it getting stuck in the back of my throat, where I wasn't having pain in the back of my throat. It was uh, some time. But uh, the night that I had the injections, within two hours, I felt like a new man. No pain, I could eat properly. Whatever, whatever they stuck up my backside, it worked a miracle. I felt marvellous. 
until the next morning when the obviously whatever was coursing through my veins uh, decided to you know wear off and I felt like horror again um, and then on the Wednesday having felt like a million dollars I'm back to full strength I can start eating my dinner again properly my lunch and my breakfast and oh, oh happy days uh, I thought oh I'm a bit itchy on my chest a bit itchy and uh, you know getting changed to go out and sunbathe looked at my arm the hell is that I had the most horrendous heat rash all up both arms all on my chest my back I couldn't see my back until I said mother I've got a heat rash she went oh my god all over my chest and everything she went let me have a look at your back and she went ah oh! and my back was covered in this most horrendous rash at that point I said to my mother I said mother I just want to go home <laughs> This was on the like, Wednesday, We're going home on the Friday. I said, I've had enough. I've had, I said, Look, this ship is cursed. I just want to get off it and get back home, get back to normality because the sun has done something to me. You know, tonsils of flare. I just want to go home and just get back to dom. Uh, so here I am. Rash is gone. Throat is fine. And despite the fact that that's happened to me on holiday, I still had a good time. I still went to the spa, had a massage, had a complimentary head massage because uh, I, I booked a package so that you can go into the saunas and the steam rooms and the thermal suite with the Turkish beds uh, every day of the cruise and one day it was under maintenance so she said well, you, we can give you a, 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 um, a part of your money back because you've booked it for 14 days so we'll give you one day's worth of charge back or you can have a complimentary uh, head and shoulder and massage I said no no I'll have a ma massage please definitely I've had a stressful, <laughs> stressful holiday. Uh, so yeah, but so so yeah, I've come back surprisingly refreshed, to be honest with you. But this is the this is what this is the, this is how bad it has been, right? This is how bad it this is how bad it has been. I went to, on holiday. Thirteen stone three. Because I got weighed on the Friday morning. Thinking, how much weight we're going to put on? Oh, I'll have to come off again. I got on the scales this morning. 13 stone 2. I lost weight on holiday. That's how bad my tonsils were. That I couldn't eat. I lost weight on holiday. I've never... I got, gosh, I got uh, norovirus on one cruise. And I still didn't lose weight on that holiday. So, that's how bad it was. So, anyway... I've come back, I've lost weight. <laughs> so I thought to myself, oh, I was, I, I was anticipating having to work out for two or three months to get back into shape again. Four weeks, I'll be back into, I'll be back into shape again. <laughs> Marvellous. What caused the tonsil problem? Well, I got an infection in my finger about uh, two weeks before my holiday. It was only a very minor cut. When you cut your nail too short and it gets, it got infected. Uh, an, an, an innocuous cut and I'm thinking that maybe the pills that I'm on for my blood clots, which thin your blood, I'm thinking it might make me more susceptible to infection, possibly. Because it was just a regular sore throat, but it had turned into an infection. Because tonsillitis is just a bacterial infection. So like, you know, if you cut yourself or whatever, it gets infected, tonsils, same thing. It's just a bacterial infection. So uh, I'm thinking that it started out as a sore throat. It was a regular kind of sore throat. And for whatever reason, it kind of manifested into this horrendous uh, tonsillitis. So I'm now in the process of making a claim on my medical insurance for the £350 back that I spent on the medical bills. And uh, they want every... You know, oh, we, send me, you know, send it through on the portal. And then they say, right, we want uh, all the details of your trip, including how much you paid, who went with you, dates of the trip, to make sure that you were travelling in accordance with the policy. I thought, oh, here we go. And we want all your, we want your diagnosis and medical records from the ship, and we want your, um, your, your, your invoices. Got all of them. And uh, also we need your, your, your credit card statement to... to fathom out the, the exchange rate so I'm like oh god you watch I'll put all this information to them over the next week week or so 
and they'll find some way not to pay me. I'm, uh, this is what these people are like. Oh, did you know that it, subsection two, part three, part two point one? What? How? You didn't, you didn't do that. You didn't do this, or you've not done that quite right. Therefore, you've, your claims are invalid. Oh, you do. You, oh, oh, oh. Want to be in the person on the end of the phone shoes if that's how if that's the game that they start playing. Anyway, so I'm back. I've not touched a computer game since I returned, and you'll be pleased to know to finish off this little preamble before we dive into the game that I've read the first Witcher book finally. It's only been on it's only been on the shelf for two years, two and a half years. I've read the first one, and I'm two thirds of the way through the second one. So, I'll finish that off over the next sort of two or three weeks. Um, I really enjoyed it, actually. But it's a collection of... The first two books are a selection of short stories, short Witcher stories, and then the novels start from the third book onwards. Um, but, um, obviously, having watched the series, some of the episodes of the series were literally the short stories from the first two books. Because, like, oh, I remember this. I watched this. Foltest and the Strigger and uh, the Golden Dragon and um, the guy in the mansion with the horns and the magic man. I, I thought, oh, so uh, yes, yes indeed. Um, so yeah, uh, won't be reading any more of the Witcher books now until my next holiday in November. Because that's what I do, read on holiday, that's about it. Anyway, Shelley, welcome, hope you're feeling a bit better, you're in hospital today, the joys of technology means you can still tune in, and hopefully my dulcet tones and Elchrist adventures will uh, make your evening a bit more pleasant, and good to see you all here this evening. So, on a slightly more sombre note, it's the 20th of June today, which is the day that my dad died, uh, 12 years ago it's been now, so uh, slightly sombre. But uh, I was debating whether to have a slight drink and I decided not to because I've been drinking for the past 16 days straight. So I thought, nah, I'm now back into health mode. So uh, I'll, have a, I'll, have a, I'll have a glass of squash instead. And uh, <laughs> fa can you see? You can't see. You can see it. Look on camera. Can you see? I got on the first day, as you, as you customary do, I got... Uh, it was, I was on the top deck, the wind was blowing, and it was cool, because we were in the Bay of Biscay. It's not in the Mediterranean just yet, so it was about 20 degrees, nice blustery wind, and so I was sat without any sun cream on, with a t-shirt on, reading my Witcher book. And I came... <laughs> sorry, 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 Shelley. I came uh, inside and thought, ooh, ooh, my head feels a bit burnt. And I, I, I got burnt in 20 degree sun. <laughs> but I had a t-shirt on. So can you see? Uh, how do you do this? Can you see this? Uh, bloody hell. You see there? Pale? Tan? Pe I got the most horrendous t-shirt line where my arm is because I couldn't get it married up again <laughs> after the first day. So I screwed myself over and gave myself a t-shirt tan. Um, which you'll only notice if I'm shirtless because I don't wear vests at home so nobody's going to see it. Maybe somebody might see it, if they're lucky. <laughs> Bit risque for this time of the day. Uh, right, okay, so here we are in the realm of Pathfinder once again. And uh, before this session started, I had to get back up to speed with what happened at the end of the last session. So I watched the last video, which was only 20 minutes long, and realised that I had to level everybody up. So that's what I've done. So I'll quickly whiz through the levels up, and then we'll venture on forth. To see, uh, to see what fun and games we can get up to. Now I'm thinking there's a boss fight in here, which is not the best way to start when you've not played the game for two weeks. Uh, but hey, it's the nature of the beast. I knew what I was getting myself into when I ended here, so so be it. Uh, right, so let's go into leveling up mode very quickly. Valerie. Very simple with Valerie. We've dipped into, now that we've unlocked all of the prerequisites for it, we've dipped one level into, and one level only, of Stalwart Defender. To give her, A, a plus one bonus to AC, uh, def 
deflection bonus dodge bonus dodge bonus to a c and then a defensive stance ability which gives her now this is quite a corker worth the one level dip if you ask me gives her a plus two bonus for her to hit a plus two bonus to her damage it gives her a plus two extra dodge bonus to ac on top of the one bonus that she already gets and two temporary hit points per hit die just by going into defender stance very much like godan who was the defender the dwarven defender in uh, baldur's gate but just like that defensive stance which kind of i think slowed you down didn't stop you this one stops you or maybe go down stopped him because it's kind of based on dnd &D rule set isn't it so it must be the same but anyway so she can't move whilst in this dance but it gives her some great bonuses so if she's blocking a corridor or she's tanking a boss or whatever going into this dance is going to make her just that little bit better so just one dip into that so that was pretty cool uh, I'll ask you a question very shortly, Shelley. If I don't answer it, remind me, because I have a tendency to to look at people's questions in chat and think, I'll answer that in a second, and then go off on a tangent, and then completely forget you asked the question. So if I don't answer it, remind me again, but I, 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 I am... Um, I have noted it down. Um, Elquist, very simple. Rogue, rogue only. Giving him a greater trip, because I want him to trip things the best that he can ever trip them. Because how many times has he? Because how many times has he tripped somebody in this game so far? Twice. But if he does need to do it, he's going to be very good at it. <laughs> so we've gone for that. Uh, knock knock, fellow rogue. I like this character already. I really do. He may he may be a stayer, but um, he is a knife master uh, rogue, which gives him a couple of extra additional little bits to. Um, to, to him compared to Elquist. So, for example, his sneak attack damage, rather than being 1d6, which is the regular sneak attack damage, because he's a knife master and he's using a kukri, which is one of his specialty weapons, it means that he hits, uh, his sneak attack damage is a d8. So that's pretty cool. But um, also, what we've given him is um, opportunist on this level up. Because at level 10, rogues get the ability to have advanced rogue talents. And his one of the advanced rogue talents is this. Now, if this works how I think it's going to work, and I'm going to test it with this guy first, I'm going to give it to Elquist as well. Because it seems to suggest that if another character that this person is attacking is attacked by a melee attack, then he will get a free opportunity attack. So Valerie clunks somebody over the head, and this guy will get an instant attack for free, once per round. So if you're fighting a boss or a heavy uh, enemy for more than one round, that could be, say, over th maybe four rounds, four extra free attacks. That's how it reads. Which seems quite a powerful talent to have. So, if I give that to Elquist as well, if it works how I think it's going to work, that means that if, ba if, if Valerie smacks somebody that these two people are also flanking, <clears throat> that's going to be two extra attacks of opportunity. Seems, seems quite good to me. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Uh, you know, rogues just stabbing like bloody fury at people's backs and, re uh, backs and sides. So, that's what we've given him. Uh, Akundi's got nothing, um, Tristan got nothing, and I'm actually using a build for her, guide, guide, build guide, which I made, which made, made, which tweaked a little bit, but um, it recommended going into, now I don't know, I, I can see why they've done it, or why the build is this way, because it's making her into a critting machine, using a load of crit talents, so that she's gonna hit like a We've, we've kind of badged her as a bit of a sniper, haven't we, already? Uh, but uh, we're going to be now going into Eldritch Knight and utilising a lot of uh, <coughs> uh, critting talents to, to, to improve her critability and how much damage she does, I think, with crits, uh, which was what was rather interesting. Uh, if we don't like it, we can respec her. It's fine. So that's what we're going to try and see how that pans out. Uh, and actually level ups, very simple, very basic. Right, three kingdoms. Um, 
I'd had two weeks to think about things, and I usually think about things on holiday. And um, I usually think about lots of things on holiday, you know, my channel and how I wanted to do things in the going forward or, you know, work and whether or not I want to go for any more promotions or what I want to do in work, you know, kind of have these kind of thoughts. I usually take a notebook with me on holiday and, and write things down because, you, you know, when you're relaxed and there's no pressures on you to do anything other than just kind of hold your hand out for a drink or think when's the next meal time coming round so I can slip to the buffet again, um, you know, other than those little things to think about. Um, I, because of my illness on holiday, I didn't really have the motivation to do much thinking. <laughs> so it's probably the first holidays that I didn't actually write anything down in a, a notebook. So I have come back and I've not really thought too much about what the hell I want to do on the channel <laughs> when I start playing again. But I did have, a, I did have a, a brief think about Three Kingdoms, and I don't know what it is. It's one of those things. It's like it's like the longer you put something off, it becomes like really, 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 really like a big, 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 bigger and bigger and bigger thing. And I like the Three Kingdoms series, and I kind of like the history there. It's, it, it was pretty good, and I know the story now, so I know the characters and all that kind of jazz. So I, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. But for the life of me, I can't seem to get motivated just to start it. <laughs> because I read somewhere it's, it's quite a steep learning curve and it's putting me off. It's, p it's putting me off. It can't be any steeper than Crusader Kings 2, right? And I eventually bit the bullet with that. So I think I need to sit down over the next couple of weeks when I've got back adjusted to things and I've... I'm going to sit down and try to see if I can watch somebody playing it in a style that I like. So if you know anybody that plays the game and explains things really well for a beginner and is quite calm and doesn't scream and shout and carry on like a bloody lunatic, if you know anybody that's played it like that, then let me know. I'll link it in the Discord server or something and I'll check out their playthrough to see if it gets me in the mood. If it doesn't grab me, I will do another Total War because... I was thinking to myself, ooh, I quite fancy, as you said there, Shelley, a bit of DEI. There's the Medieval 1212 in the Attila uh, mod. Um, so I was kind of, I'm kind of, I, I've kind of, I kind of almost wanted, and to, to, I kind of almost wanted to play um, the next game. The, the, in the series of the original Total War of, as part of the remastered because you got Barbarian Invasion, didn't you? as a remastered as well and I never finished Barbarian Invasion when I got it when I first got the PC and got it f first of all um, so it kind of reminds me of why I played Medieval 2 on the channel for the very first time and got what got me into LP because I kind of played that because I wanted to finish it so I'm kind of tempted to actually continue and and, uh, and, and play Barbarian Invasion that's kind of tickling my taste buds a little bit but uh, I'll make a decision over the next couple of weeks for now there's this and I do have another game starting up coming a bit left field I just saw it today in, on Steam and I thought ooh I think I might want to try that. So, yes. Stay tuned. Okay. So, I've been away for two weeks, so we've had a 25-minute preamble. I do apologise. Uh, I might actually start using this timestamp feature of, of YouTube and put in the description of the video the, the timestamp so that it separates it into chapters for people who want to watch after the fact and don't want to watch me blather on for 25 minutes. But uh, that all depends on whether or not I can... Uh, be bothered <laughs> which i can be bothered because i've i've deigned to be more proactive with certain things because sometimes i can get a bit lazy uh right romano british it's like english but also roman my two favorite factions if it's not britain it's got to be roman <laughs> apart from when i played the carthaginians and I, got, I really liked it and then hated the romans those damn romans uh, until 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 uh, somebody called Bizaltes sized through them like a hot knife through butter, and then they became uh, 
you know, less pesky. But anyway, right, shall we get, shall we get shall to some of this? Done. Shall we get to some of this? I think we should. Now, I've, I am yours to command. I've leveled up some people and I've... Have I got additional abilities with any of them? I don't think so. No additional abilities. Good. Right here, my friend. Spells, then. I think we need to uh, give Valerie a bit of a level up. A bit of a, a bit of a heal. I don't think we're going to need um, sound burst, to be honest with you. Let's uh, heal Valerie, because I've got a feeling she's going to be a bit busy. I've got a feeling she's going to be a touch busy in this fight. Now, I'm not going to buff. We know a fight's coming, don't we? We know a fight's coming. We should probably buff, right? We should at least buff the long buffs. You know? The long buffs. Because it's definitely coming, isn't it? So we'll buff the long buffs. We'll also put Lindsay's song on. In advance. And that's less buffs to cast in the middle of a fight. We'll put turn-based on as well. Preparing for the worst here. Um, anything else we want to do? Any other buffs that we can cast that last a long time that aren't too costly to cast? Bless, maybe? Yeah, it's still a bit of blessing. We've got another cast of it if we need it. So they're the kind of long cast sorted. I think we'll top up. We've got um, Doggo that's got uh, Mage Armor on. Um, the usual for Elquist. Wand of Shield. It's only two minutes though, so... Right, okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. It's gonna happen. Let's do it. Let's not bore... Oh, no! Stop! Stop! I smashed this sh sh shanks alone! What? <laughs> no! Did you not just... Did you not see? Knock, knock! We just... Cast a few spells here? Not for the good of our health, you know? <laughs> and how exactly do you intend to fight this person all on your lonesome, might I ask? Like true goblin. Like goblin hero. Mm. Fight with anything I have, anyhow. I can bite, kick, stab, stick. Maybe bite again. Those are rules. Watch. See for yourself. Uh. Uh. But we've buffed. <laughs> we've buffed. No, no, because I had two weeks to think about this. And it's clearly come to the wrong decision. You should have sat down with a drink in your hand, knock, knock, and a notepad and pen, and thought about this properly. What did you, did you have, did you have tonsillitis as well? <sighs> just, to, just to confirm, you, you wish to fight this chieftain on your own? I can't sleep, no, this ratbag wears his crown. He wanted to hit me until me dead. Now I hit him and show the whole tribe who Labastu chooses. This is clearly the wrong choice. But, <laughs> hey, we give Valerie her moment in the sun to fight that bloody paladin, didn't we? Very well. We give Amiri the chance to fight her beasts. We came rushing in to help Amiri. We'll probably come rushing in to help Knock Knock. But hey, knock yourself out. <clears throat> good. Cheer for me then. Hmm. But try to speak good so they know you're cheering for me. You always mess up your words. <coughs> Excuse me? Mess up my word? When have I ever messed up my words? Elkwist looking around at the entire party. Hey, when have I ever messed up? I may have stabbed a prisoner by mistake and killed him, but that's nothing to do with talking, is it? What exactly should I do? Hello, Chris. Thank you very much. I am feeling much better. Just don't trip me up and stay out of my way. Maybe you go talk talk with them before I punch and kick crown stealing shank shank. But after that, stay away. Now enough talk. Let's go. Look there. I mean, he's buffed as well. He's got a little a couple of buffs. Maybe we could have buffed him a bit further if we realised he was going to go on his own. Hey, shank shank, judge bridges, come out fight. You, me. I don't think he's coming out one-on-one. -on -one. You be beautiful, though, where you swindle, try traitor. What, you afraid? Coward, look, look all. The king, be coward. I don't fear you, shut up. I will fight, I will. Others, stay back. Only me fight. 
Oh my god, this is... <laughs> I knock you left, right, chin head, until that crown fly off! <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a, it's a book! It's a book entry! Oh my god! Hello, JC, welcome! <clears throat> and so it came to pass that we would bear witness to a true goblin jewel. Renounced collars would have paid a steep price to be in our place, and would have paid thrice more afterwards to be anywhere else than inside a camp teeming with goblins. The news the king was going to fight the insolent intruder spread through a, the tribe like wildfire. The goblins gathering around the fire began to yell and shout so loud it was as if they wanted Lamash to herself to hear. The king looked impressive, but not knock. Our questionable but brave leader. Excuse me? showed no sign of fear. On the contrary, he swelled up with pride, reveling in the moment. The duelists were surrounded by an incredible number of gapers. And judging by the weapons in their hands and the nonsensical rusty armour, even the camp guards were summoned by the shouting. Having carefully examined the crowd, Knock Knock threw a glance at the Baron and solemnly announced, My followers will say? Hundreds of small red eyes instantly focused on the Baron. <laughs> I would have been at a loss in such a situation, but our ruler didn't miss the mark. Cause the Baron... <laughs> ...tried to speak in the Goblin Tongue. <laughs> Cause clearly, he learnt about the Goblin Tongue in the Academy back in his home town. His name escapes me right now. But, uh, yeah, keeping uh, the words to single syllables so that they can clearly understand the point that we are trying to make here. Huh. Where did His Grace ever learn to talk like that? Uttering strange, often obscene words, slurring the endings and mixing up suffixes, the Baron was giving a speech better than he had expected. Not only did the goblins gaze on in rapt fascination, almost hypnotised, but he also caused his followers to listen in horrified fascination at how each word was mangled, slaughtered, yet somehow still comprehensible. The ardent speech might have gone on indefinitely, but the chance was broken by a shriek from the goblin crowd. Knock, knock, gone! Who would have thought? While the whole tribe was busy listening to the Baron, our champion had vanished. The startled king came to his senses and began to tear apart the area, shaking his blade and screaming curses. The Baron exchanged glances with his companions, and the party stepped aside silently. Of course, a goblin jewel had to start with a competition in one of the most prolific goblin arts, hide and seek. Without a doubt, Knock Knock was lurking somewhere near. But where? He climbed on the roof. He hid right behind the king's back, in the cauldron, set over an open fire. Nah. That would be the biggest besmirchment. To get right behind his back without seeing him would be can would be fantastically good. Yeah, fails at surgery but can can talk like an idiot. <laughs> it's good to know where his skill set is, eh? <clears throat> what fun! Knock knock managed to slip by the king and was now hiding right behind his back, dancing silently and making rude faces. The other goblins burst into laughter, or to be precise, into cackling and snide giggling, all the while pointing fingers at their king. Such treatment infuriated Knock Knock's opponent even more, and he spun around in rage trying to see what was the cause for all the merriment. Knock Knock had no more time for joking around. <laughs> oh, that'll be mobility, surely. He's not. He's, a, he's good at mobility. He's going to take the crown off his head. Take the crown. Ha <laughs> ha. Nip it off his head. Quick as a, quick as a dart. Oh, it's a trickery attack. Boof. So how did this unusual and victorious adventure end? It ended with Knock Knock's utter triumph. <laughs> Who not only humiliated the despicable Goblin King, but was also rewarded with a well-deserving trophy. The crown that had previously adorned the chieftain's head. However, the tribe members were not wasting time. As soon as it sunk into them, they were going to be next, they scattered. In moments, no one remained round the fire except for Knock Knock, who was grumbling, frustrated by not getting a chance to gloat over his opponent's defeat. We reminded Knock Knock 
that the ultimate victory still lay ahead, we had to face a true villain, the Shaman, the one behind infecting untold numbers of people and spreading the horrific disease. We received a stubborn head and some experience. Get ready for battle. Right, is this Shaman here or is this just Sentry, Sentry, Sly Eye, Winter Wolf, Sly Eye, Sly Eye, Shaman. Is this the Goblin Shaman that we need to kill? We're miles away. We are flipping miles away. We need to get this Shaman down as quickly as possible in a kind of a rush, a rush type situation. These things are very crap. And he's got the last artifact piece. Yes, that artifact piece that I was talking about in the last session. Yes. Yes, 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 indeed. Okay, I'm trying to think how to do this. I think we need to pull back, get them... Because he's right in the line of fire and he's not acting until after some of these sentries act. Which could be a problem. We're miles away from the shaman, who's level 14. I don't think we need to be overly concerned here. Can we save it? Nah, okay. Okay, let's, let's just um, try something here. Come on, knock, knock, let's go. Let's go quickly, please. Let's go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go. Go, 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 go. Right, where's the shaman? Shaman is like a country mile away. So he might... We might be able to get him on his own after we've killed some of these minions. This should do it. Right, okay, so we got rid of a couple of minions. Kind of want the shaman to come forward. Summoned red caps. He's summoning a few things. Right, we're just going to take care of the of all the ads first. We're going to be well out of his range, so just keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. Uh oh, these red caps are pretty fast. Let us strike as one. Oh, Elquis got a bit of a bit of a bit of a tap there, didn't he? Dear, 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 I am not liking this at all. Elquist is in a bit of, of trouble here. Ooh, Jesus. Right, Tristian, would you care to heal very quickly, please? A yeah, nice heal would be nice. Oh my golly gosh. Right, where's the shaman? Has he run out of spells? Oh, he's coming forward now. <laughs> oh dear, this is this is not good. Right, I'm going to use with Tristian uh, a summon undead. With Lindsay, we're going to use a. Uh, can we? Have we got like an AOE glitter dust, something like that? The back end, blind a few of these buggers. About there-ish. Blind a few people. Mm. We've got skeletons now. Helping out. Very good. Very good. This is working out pretty well. 
must, must admit, this is going better than expected with all those uh, summon creatures. This is actually the shaman in the middle of the fight. He's just been killed. Uh, and now we're going to kill the rest of these archers. Go, 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 go! Well, that went decidedly, decidedly well. As you approach, the shaman bursts into bizarre squawking. After a moment, it becomes clear to you. The goblin, choking on his own blood, has broken into gloating laughter. Ah, the baron be too late. The will of Lamashtu came true. The bloom be happening. What are you talking about, you madman? <laughs> and who else? The blossom seeds come down the stream we drink boom boom long shanks drink boom 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 flowers grow great beasts crawl out the must to be pleased i knew straight away what goblins do must go upstream seek great mother find the mashtu's womb up the river home of great beasts and seed breedery leave guard so no one come in and go back back make the long shanks gulp Taint more, more, so man death. All seeds be planted, all make it before. Before what? Before what? Shaking it, will you tell me? Uh, we be Lebashtu sons, watering, seed sowing, readying for the season of bloom all together. Boo, boo, boo. <gasps> Season of bloom has begun. You don't stop us. <laughs> Ranting on about. Altogether, boom. Right, what do we got? We have got the Talden Spur. This is it, the final Taldan piece. And a enchanted spear, a breastplate, and another belt, and a ring. Let's pick them all up. Okay, commandos, sentries, sentries, daggers, regular variety, not very good. Short bows of the regular variety, not very good. Pick up some pelts. Is that it? Is that all I've got to show for my efforts? Where, where, where's, all the, where's all the good loot, man? You poxy creatures. Right, anyway. Let's before we talk about good loot and bad loot. Let's have a look at what loot we've picked up here. We picked up a stubborn head. This helmet grants a wear a plus four enhancement bonus to dexterity. And a plus three natural armor bonus to AC. And a plus four bonus to saving throws against death effects. What? What? Twenty six, twenty five, twenty five. So this is a plus one insight bonus to attack rolls and flat footed flanked. This is what plus four enhancement to dex, which doesn't work on him because he's already got plus four to dex, hasn't he? So it's the same. It doesn't stack. Plus three natural armor bonus to AC. He can't have that either because he's already got the wyvern skin cloak as well. So that doesn't stack. So if we wanted to be, we could give him that, take off his wife and skin cloak, give him a different cloak, and give him maybe a different belt that would grant him perhaps maybe some constitution and strength. Alternatively, we could take that off him, give him that, to give him a whopping plus nine to dex, making him an absolute stabbing machine, and 30 to AC compared to my 25. <laughs> he's, a, he's a better rogue than me! How dare you! You little pipsqueak. Belt of physical form. Dex plus four to dex and con. 
get rid of that. Put that on. Okay, there we go. Anybody else need a Dex plus four? Lindsay? <coughs> there you go, love. Right, what's this lovely looking ring here? <clears throat> Paragon of Winter. This ring grants both its wearer and the mon monsters summoned by them. Cold resistance, 30, and vulnerability to fire. Quite situational, that, isn't it? Talon Spur. He's insane! He's a knife master, so he's does, he does better sneak attack damage than Elquist. He's got better AC than Elquist. He's got a better dexterity bonus than Elquist. <laughs> if Elquist has, has got any kind of complex or inferiority complex, like maybe go down, who doesn't, you know, uh, <laughs> he'd, he'd kick, not knock out the party for simply being a better rogue than him. Better at killing things, he's better at these things. But can he open treasure chests? Hmm. Can you can you set traps off? Like I do with 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 style. No, you can't. So shut your face. How many bosses you got? Eighty-three. Not bad. Not bad at all. All according to plan. Our little Mister. Our little special specialist rogue. Upstaged by a goblin. Yes, but does he have a barony? No, he doesn't. All right. If I had as much time to roll around and toss it off, perhaps I would be more Even refined in the in the arts. But I have a barony to run, which means I can't practice as much as I need to do. But nonetheless, don't you worry. When I speak with my good friend, um, what's his face? Him from up north. Bokken. About this flipping eternal elixir of youth thing. We'll see then. Nothing like a good pick me up. Nothing like a bit of drug enhancing to, uh, you know, level up the competition a bit. Or even surpass the competition. I know what to do. I was going to say something quite nasty there <laughs> about some particular sports star, but I won't. Uh, right. In fact, I didn't check. I am prepared. Knock, knock. Some. A trivial matter. A trivial matter. Very trivial indeed. So trivial, I opened it in my sleep. Um, I didn't check. Uh, trickery. Aha! I'm better. I'm better. Mobility. I'm better. All right. Perception. Oh, that'll be me. All right. Persuasion. Oh, yeah, that's me as well. Okay. All right. And it's talking that matters when you're running a kingdom. Okay. Not stabbing things in the face. Well, yeah, actually, stabbing things in the back. Or the side. Right then. Journal. Where are we going next? Season of Bloom. The Season of Bloom. Save Keston and the surviving prisoners from the monsters. I thought we were done. Hello, Nameless Crusader. Welcome. Walking tanned. Can you tell from the camera that I've got a tan? Can you tell? Looking a bit tanned. Yeah. Th this is not as dark as I could have got, but it was so hot that you could only... S well, I said you. I could only sit out on it for no longer than an hour tops there were people sat in 30 degree heat at like 11 o'clock 12 o'clock one o'clock in the morning slash afternoon at the peak of the sun in their chairs deck chairs like they you know lapping it up i'm like are you flipping mad i mean most of them were over 60 so perhaps they didn't give a crap anymore about their skins <laughs> but but my god no 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 after about an hour, I was like, get me out of here. Seriously. I could feel my skin burning. Uh, horrendous. I had, factor, I had factor 50 on, and it's very rare I use factor 50. I had factor 50 on. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. 
<clears throat> when I was younger, I wouldn't dream of putting Factor 50 on. I remember one, one, I remember one holiday in Jamaica <clears throat> when um, we were playing beach volleyball and I had, obviously, just swimming shorts on, no top, beach volleyball, running around, no sun cream, for about two hours. And I was burnt from head to toe. And that was the very first time in my entire life at age, I think I was 18 at the time, um, that I got burnt. Because up until that point, I was convinced that I'm immune to being burnt. I'm, I'm not, I don't burn in the sun. I've got West Indian blood in me. I don't burn. I never burn in English sun because English sun is very weak <laughs> and rubbish. No, I don't know why I burn. Anyway, slight distraction. Uh, season of Bloom. Uh, all the scenes that tell the effect is probably me. So, the difference between Keston's camp is now being overwhelmed by enraged beasts from another world. So, after her before the mission and the surrounding prisoners become much of the monsters. But we were supposed to save them. We were supposed to save the people who had drunk the seeds. We let the goblins do it to them because we were hoping that we were going to save them down the line. So we just watched as they got the drink, as the water got poured down their throats. And it looks like we were too late to save them, unfortunately. That sucks. Their skin is leather anyway. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> the cruise company that we go with is called Princess, Princess Cruises, and it's notoriously known for being a cruise for the older clientele. The average age of the person on there must be something along the lines of about 50 as the average age. You know, if you, if you iron out the, the handful of people that are like 30, 40-ish, and the handful of kids that were on there, probably about six kids out of two and a half thousand passengers, uh, most people probably 70, 80, which is a pain in the ass when you want to get your food from the buffet and they're doddering around in front of you and there's nowhere for you to overtake. <laughs> it's like, oh God, can you hurry up? <sighs> so yeah, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's notorious for being a, 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 a cruise company for the for the aged uh, clientele, which suits me fine because I like a relaxed holiday. You know, occasionally, if I'm going to go with a friend or two, then maybe not quite so relaxed. But, you know, when I'm going with my mother and I'm reading some books, um, you know, that's the kind of uh, <coughs> pace that I like, to be quite honest. Oh, Jesus, that's right outside the gates. If you want a bit of a younger clientele, go with Royal Caribbean or something, which I do I do go with routinely because their ships are bigger and have a lot more things to do on them. So, uh, you know, your surfboard machines, your rock climbing walls, your zip lines, your London Eye thing that goes out, you know, the, the, the free falling simulator, the dodgems, the ice rinks, anything else on those? Yeah, the diving pool, um, the merry-go-round, uh, the, the park in the middle, Anything else that I've missed off? Yeah, the usual kind of golf simulators and yeah, there's a crap ton of stuff on the larger Royal Caribbean ships. The water slides on the in the to the pool. Yeah, lots to do. Uh, Ollie, good evening and uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, we'll be streaming again on Wednesday. And when you go on a Royal Caribbean ship and you've got all that available to you. Most of that is very, very quiet when it's a, when people get off to go onto the shore. So if we're going on a to an island in the Caribbean, for example, that we've been to before and we didn't particularly like it that much, then we stay on the ship. So all of those facilities that are usually rammed and queuing for when it's a day at sea, when everybody's on the ship, you can get on them straight away. So uh, you know, and do I ever use them? No. I've been on the surfboard machine once. I've been on the water slide maybe about four times. I don't do heights, so I don't do the rock climbing wall or zip wiring. I didn't do the dodgems when I had the chance. That looks quite bad. Let's help these poor people! Come on, quickly! 
Oh my god, this is bad news! Attack! You need to help them! Because I'm not playing in turn base, it's difficult to assess whether or not Nock is getting his attacks of opportunity. That free attack from opportunists. We'll have to check it out in turn based mode to see it properly in action. Uh, we could check the. Um, check this out to see if it was to, to give us any kind of a, a clue. Okay, we've we've sort we've helped. We've sorted it. We've sorted it. We've sorted it. Let's just now loot and plunder. And skin and loot and plunder and skin and no. God, we really suck at skinning, don't we? It's because we've lost no, we've got a Kundio who's supposed to be quite good at law and nature. What the hell's going on? Uh, Keston! Well, we've saved some of them. They're not all uh, transformed. So that's pretty pro That's That's promising-ish, isn't it? Surely. Uh, he's looking a bit a bit, uh, a bit battered, isn't he? Your Grace, how can this be? The, the, the people, the prisoners from the camp, they've uh, exploded just like that. Yes, yes, well, the shaman that we have just slain was mumbling uh, about a uh, season of bloom. Seems the seeds the people swallow turned into portals. Oh, God, if all these seeds have blossomed, Abadar, protect us, the capital is full of infected, both on the streets and in Kavkan's hospital. Oh, God, yeah. Here, you must hurry to the capital. Uh, I will continue looking for the source of the seeds. Y yes. Well, the, the, the shaman mentioned uh, a place up the stream. The, the Mashtu's womb is the source of the seeds. You make yourself useful, go up there, I shall head to the capital. And I dread to think of what I'm going to find. Hmm. Yes, I shall gather my men and head out there. I swear upon my life, I will find this womb, your grace, and destroy the source of the disease. But Kavkan, gods be merciful, he has no one to protect him. And the citizens, will the guard be enough to halt the attack of these horrid creatures? No. I have to go up river. Make sure there are no new seeds. I must stop this curse at the source. Well, our Grand General, Amiri, hopefully, <laughs> she likes killing beasts. She, just let her loose. Big sword in hand, just let her loose. She'll be fine. It is for you to decide, Your Grace. Where your help is more needed. Jord will defend his patience to the last. As for me, I'll do the same. Anything to put an end to this horror once and for all. So we could go to the capital and we could go to the Master's womb. I'm thinking is the, is the one choice here. But it's my capital! I can't leave it burning! God, the people are already baying for my blood! No, we shall go to the capital and deal with that ourselves. The people will see us riding in on our imaginary horses, we don't have any, and uh, saving the day. And they'll be singing our names, singing our praises. Meanwhile, you shall head to Lamash to. It will be crawling with monsters, Keston. Do you think you can handle it? Uh. I don't know, Your Grace. I, I can't promise anything. But we do not seem to have a choice. That doesn't sound good, does it? Oh, God! <laughs> this is, feels like a big decision. No, I'm sticking with Elquist's first thought, and Elquist's first thought is his own... is, is, is a preservation of his own image <laughs> in the eyes of his people. And that will be tarnished if we're not the ones to be seen helping where... The monsters have broken out. Right. Go to Lamashtu's womb, Keston. I'll make a decision and head out later. What? No. What? 
Or maybe we can't go to the capital. What does this? This is, I'll make a decision and head out later. I wonder what this one is. Hello, Thomas. Okay, let's just get some more. Do you think Kavkun can hold it? Kavkun's not a fighter. If you leave for the capital now. Oh my god. Do you know what? I'm beginning to think maybe. I wonder if this one was to say if this one would be head to capital. This one suggests that I can make a decision though. So I want I want to go to the capital. I want to protect my people. So uh, go to the master's womb. I'll make a decision and head out. Do not linger. If you go to the womb, you will certainly catch up with my soldiers. If you go to the capital, you need to help the people. Defend the capital! Quickly! I can't lose anybody. How to get out of this godforsaken place? Got to be out! Hello, Thomas. Hello, Nagisa. sir. Come on, quickly! Quickly, man, quickly! Right, what have we missed? A crap ton of stuff. Right, let's just quickly go through anything that we've missed here. There's definitely a couple of things that I missed because I saw it when I was watching the video back. There's a couple of things that I overlooked. So there's definitely some things that I missed here. Definitely some things that I missed. Just have to find them. Pelt there. Masterwork dagger there. There's definitely something I missed. One, one flipping wolf skin. Which means that I did a good job looting this time. Yeah, Elquist is getting a bit more proficient with looting, is he? Oh, very good. Yeah, very good indeed. Well done, sir. Well done. Just one wolf pelt. Overlooked. Right. So. Where were we supposed to be going? Exactly. To stop. To stop the. To stop the seeds upriver, right? Anyway, we're off to Topcliff now, anyway, so we've made a decision. But where was the other place? If we changed our mind. What was it called again? I don't think we can go there. I think because we sent Keston, I think we're probably not being able to go. Oh, the womb of Lamashtu. A cave rather unappealingly named the womb. Oh, we must find it ourselves. Now nah, balls to that. We're not finding nothing. Spending our time hunting for some stupid cave? No, my people! My people need me! We must run! Now! 12 hours. Good grief. This might be the longest 12 hours. Come on, team! Come on! The streets of the capital are like scenes of a nightmare. Monsters are chasing civilians. Panic and destruction reign. Oh my god. It's time to thin the ranks of owlbears, wyverns and any other nasty things who think they can take the city from our baron. Oh. No, this is horrific. Look at the state of it. Oh, the hydras in the street. God, what are you standing around for? Delia? Young guard is holding her weapon with limp hands as blood streams down her bent and broken armour. Your grace, at last! 
I'm not sure how much longer we'd have made it without you. <clears throat> Report! Despite the dire situation, we're holding on. There have been casualties, but we're evacuating as many civilians as we can to safe locations. You made it just in time, Your Grace. You can still save your people and your capital. Yes. No time for gossip. Let's go. Don't have time to waste. <coughs> My voice is going. Run. What the hell's happened? A dire venom wolf? That was one of them. Kill it. An owlbear. Just appeared out of nowhere. Come on, push through, team! Nobody attacks my barony! Not even some berserk creatures! He lost his mage armor. No he mistakes. Has. Just stop a second, please. Okay, off you go. Oh, they're off now. Oh, no, 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 you don't want to do that. Holy flip! Holy flip flops! Back of opportunity. Look at this guy, just chilling. Ah! Another scenic stroll, just walking through the bodies of wyverns and owlbears. Just another day in Topcliff. Balls of steel. I mean, he's a dwarf. <laughs> Follow my lead. Uh, has our entire town become a flipping map area? What's this? A sickle. Quick Hydra. I want to go inside my castle. <clears throat> oh my god. This is like really grim. Right, come on, guards, do something useful with your time. Keep attacking these creatures. Look, another one just popped up. Right where we didn't want him to, right in the middle of Elquist. Right, we've dealt with these. Put your little hat on. Look at the state of this. Right, we've got Venom Hydra. Sounds very dangerous. Probably more... Oh, it sounds more dangerous than it is. Yeah, I saw Knock Knock got an attack of opportunity. I saw the floaty text. It's definitely, definitely working, I think, as intended. I think we're going to give that to Elquist next level up as well. It'd be rude not to. Venom Hydra. I don't think we can go inside just yet. I think we've got to clear the entire area in due time of monsters. Uh, 
the hell is this? Dragon? A red dreamer wyvern. You forced my hand. The hell? Oh my god, purple dreamer owl there. Level 14? You might want to get a flipping move on, my friend. Don't really want to be facing these things on our own me. without fodder. Ooh, it's hitting the dog. It's hitting the dog. That was dangerous. That was pretty dangerous. Right, doggy, getting a bit of a heal here. Oof. Alina, the local tavern keeper, runs up to you. Her face is pale and she's shaking with fear. Your grace, well, what's happening? They're monsters. They're still save our souls. Is this the end? Is the town lost? Oh, it will get better. Oh, don't say that. Oh, no. Calm down. Everything's under control. I'm here now. No need to panic. Just follow the guards and they'll take you to safety. Oh. Thank you, my baron. I know you'll protect us. Exactly. Exactly. You must remember to talk to the locals. <laughs> Just remember to talk to the locals. Go forth, citizens. Your saviour is here. Don't worry now. Right, what's next? Down here. As much as we hate to see it. Down here seems to be the way to go. Look at this. Look at my market stalls. You blasted things. Damage my market stall. My statue, I'm still standing. Right, we've got creatures here. That is not far. Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead. Dead creatures. Okay. Not looking too bad. Come around the back of them. Look, look at that surprise. Surprise attack. In the, attack in the rear. Attack in the rear. Not you. You. Attack in the rear. Attack in the rear. Go. 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 Come on. Help them quickly. Oh, Elquist is in a bit of trouble here. Oh boy. Elquist is in a lot of trouble here. Elquist is down. Fine, he's not dead. Just slipped in the rain. Slipped, slipped, in, a, slipped in a puddle. Oh, it's awfully slippy. You've yeah, been speaking to Don for you, have you? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Wow, it doesn't heal as much as I was hoping it to heal. Must be heal critical wounds. Right, how many more of these damn beasts are there? Oh, look at Poochie! Marauders. Marauders? What are marauders doing here? While the fierce battle rages, these people aren't fighting or fleeing. Rather, they've in entered one of the ruined buildings and seem to be filling their sacks with whatever goods have been left behind. Noticing you, one of the marauders turns pale and drops his bag. G -g -g Damn! You dare! At a time of need, 
Turn your hand to looting? How dare you? How? I want him executed. Do you know what? I should do it myself. The penalty for looting is dead. Dead. Death. I can't even speak. I'm so disgusted. How dare you? Try to make this switch. Blasted opportunistic thugs. I hope they got them. I shall confiscate these, confiscate these, confiscate all of these. Clearly, confiscation is the way to deal with this situation. How dare they? Delia! Right, Delia. We've, we've checked everything out, haven't we? No, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. There's uh, the area this side. Is there an area down here as well? We missed an area. No. Right, Delia. Where else do we gotta go? We're not getting round. What's going on here? Aha. Birdal. Oh, he's crushed. Oh, Grace, he's wounded. Help me get him out before he loses too much blood. Oh, fine. We've killed most of the things. Let's help. Phew. That has... Oh, back to Celtic Neutral again. Uh, lad's been with a hair's breadth of dying. He makes it to the end of the battle. He should call this his second birthday. Oh, I'll tend to his wounds as well. I'm feeling particularly good today. Right. Very good. Right, what's, what's happened here? Well, I was sitting in my smithy. There's some shouting in the street, so I grabbed my maul and headed out. Saw this ugly mug throw that poor guard to the ground and got a huge bite in. So I gave it a good whack to the head. Then another, and another, and so on until it stopped moving. Ah. Ah, kill this beast on your own. Impressive. Aye, I can fight all right. Just don't like to. Yes. <laughs> it's fortunate one by your smithy. I have an urgent purchase to make. <laughs> oh, we got, we, got a, we got a seller. Oh, take all my crap. Just the crap for now. I'll sort the rest out later. That's six grand's worth of crap. <laughs> Jesus. I'll take it all, man. I'll take it all. Right, have you got anything decent in here? No. Not really. No. 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 Just rubbish that I've sold you. Thank you. You were creating evil before. No, I must have been um, chaotic good. Look, I'm on the border of chaotic good slash chaotic neutral. Alignment shifted to chaotic good. Alignment shifted to neutral good. I'm chaotic good. Chaotically good. See? He's got a heart of gold, really. Right, that's Verdal. Right, so where do we go next? I think we've killed everything. Let's go back to the guard. Dahlia, Dahlia, Delia. Right, Delia. We've sorted the problem in the streets. Now what's going on next? Maybe we have to exhaust these options first. I don't want to help. Oh fine, now that everything's calmed down. 
Might as well continue on. Your new alignment is neutral. No! You can't be neutral. You need to be chaotic. I can't get me flipping dance halls on my bloody... Oh. Stab some people in the eyes, Elquist. Do something. Randomly chop people's legs off. Right, can we get into our hut now? Oh, I need to speak to this guy. Ah, Captain removes his helmet, wipes the sweat from his brow. Praise all the gods. I'm not sure we could have held out much longer without you. Yes, yes. How bad are the casualties? Not substantial, Your Grace. If you'd arrived much later, I've no doubt the capital would have been lost. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> a fine day, isn't it? Last time we had a party like this was our fight with the stack. <laughs> That's probably a chaotic, neutral thing to say, is it not? <laughs> uh, what have we learned of our attackers? Very little. Some of the monsters erupted from the patients in the Kavkans hospital, while others seem to have come straight out of the woods. There are no people among them, and they don't seem to have a commander. They fight more like raging beasts than an army. That's all we know right now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Point to, I want to see if this is... By my reckon, this is a chaotic neutral option. I'm just testing the theory here. No, I'm not. I wouldn't say that. Right, let's go. Uh, yes, yeah. Ooh, a thunderous rumble sounds from not far off. Something humongous is approaching. Crushing buildings <laughs> along its path. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. We don't need this. Oh, it's only a, a couple of orcs. It's fine. No, that's about <gasps> That's a big owl bear. Are we expected to kill that? I think we might need turn base mode. Just saying. Oh no. 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 I should have quick saved it at some point. When was the last quick save? Quick save it now, quickly, before combat. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. This Albert is in, is is meandering about. Meandering about. All according to plan. Is it coming any closer? Uh oh, is, is it coming any closer? It must be coming closer, right? Oh, we better, we better get ourselves buffed and we better get ourselves buffed quick. We ain't got time for dithering here. What the hell's happening here? She's got no... Oh, I've wasted her inspired courage. Oh, oh no. Oh no, she's used her thing. Oh, we're, we're, we're buggered. We are buggered, man. What we're, troubles you? Heroi heroism. No, no, which one's a Good hope. Good hope. All of us. Good tidings. Good tidings. They're all going to help us kill this thing, right? Let's just... Okay, let's go. It's a great primal owlbear. Nothing to see here. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. <laughs> Right, Valerie, defensive stance. Let's go. Let's kick this thing's ass. Let's go. Night time. Night, night. Let's go, baby. Hurricane bow, cast on self. Quickly, please. Quickly, please, people. Uh, we can't do anything. Valerie, just keep smacking it. Right, Tristian, controlled fireball. Just try it. Is it, immune? Is it immune to magic? I don't care. Control fireball should only hit enemies, right? Oh, we've got it. We've got it. We've... Oh, it's falling. It's falling. It's, it's bats worse than its bite. Look at that. What's the fuss about? Just a great, just a, a humongous Albert. Have you not seen one of them before? Oh, my people! Oh, my people are fussing about. 
451 hit points. Holy hell. Alright, is it not time for some drink yet? Surely the taverns should be reopened now? <laughs> Phew! Looks like we've got a breather. If you don't mind me saying, you're an exceptional warrior. Well, I don't mind you saying at all, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure you even need the city guard. Well, uh, we'll hold the city. You can trust in us. Focus on finding the heart of this disease. You're our best hope. Does that mean we now go and find where Keston's gone? I think it does, doesn't it? That's what he's saying. Go and find Keston, mate. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we haven't. Have we not defended the. Ca have we not defended the cap. Oh, Jod! Jod! You came. Oh, I didn't see you there. to Arastu that you would make it in time. Yes, yes. How bad is the wound, Jod? I need you to sort my curses out. <laughs> a trifle. Nothing a prayer to Arastu couldn't cure. But my wound can wait. The townsfolk are in greater need of divine aid than I am. Oh, good evening, Shahan. Welcome. Right. Um, uh, 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 yes, I could do with a heal myself. <laughs> Selfish. He's like crippled. Oh, I'm injured. Don't mind about your injuries, mate. You're a, you're a cleric. Heal me. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna rest before we go out there. Yes, we found where the beasts uh, are coming from. Now we're just gonna go and pay them a visit, and end this threat once and for all. Praise to Arastil, shield of these lands. Once the battle is over, you must make your way there and destroy the source of this plague. Burn everything in your sight if need be. Oh yes, I plan to do just that. Right, well, uh, what will you do next? There are still many wounded in the city streets. I aim to help everyone I can. Yes, good, good, good call, good call. Well, uh, I need to get out Earth, of here. Your grace. I must leave as well. The battle isn't over yet. Horrendous creatures prowl the streets and there are wounded in need of aid. Erastil, save us all. Erastil, save us all. Phew, looks like we've got a breather. Yes. We'll hold the city. You focus on finding the disease. Oh, yes, I know that. You said that last time. Oh, we've done it. Now we've done it. Defend the capital. Done. Okay then. We just need to go find uh, the wound of Lo the womb, the womb of Lomash too. Let's go and kick this womb's ass. Doesn't make sense, does it? But hey, let's just do it. This could be. This could be. Um, there's got to be a consequence of picking this option rather than picking the option to go to the, the, the womb first. And I'm thinking it might be Keston. I'm thinking Keston might be a goner. I'm thinking he might struggle to, to hold out on his own. We can rest here, right? We need to rest. We're knackered. Absolutely not. Oh! Look at that, we've lost our hunter. You good at hunting, mate? No, in fact, you go hunting, you go defending. And hunter's roast. Okay, that'll do for now. I mean, it's not exactly... Um Gonna make a massive difference. We need to use rations here, save some time. I respect useful books, but who needs shallow stories? Fables about a knight who slew a dragon won't help you if you meet a dragon in real life. Then they'll write books about me, Lindsay the Dragon Slayer. Or no, more like Lindsay, who was not afraid to challenge a dragon and get heroically eaten in her prime. 
Sounds good, huh? We foraged six rations in eight hours. Hence, because Ekundio is so efficient as a hunter, of course. Uh, we got the blessing. She's a good cook. They're good at perception. Yeah, indeed, a team of experts. They finally learned how to camp. It's only taken them a few years. Well, a few months. I think we're getting that angle this camp in Malarkey, aren't we, the team? Yes, we are, but we haven't got time to enjoy it. We must rush to the womb. Now, where's this womb? Apparently, we had to go upstream, right? So I'm assuming we just have to find it ourselves. Should have saved it before I set off, really, in case I'm going the wrong way. But it said upstream, upriver. Can't mean this way, can it? It's got to be this way. Uh oh. Scripted encounter. Scripted encounter. This is Keston half dead. Hello. Hello. I hear, I hear coughing. This is not Keston dead. This is a, this is a sick man. That is not. Far. That's a, probably about to turn into a flipping beast. A group of travellers carrying bags, satchels, and sacks full of manner of goods and chattels are shuffling their feet on the road in front of you. Two tougher-looking men are helping one of their companions stand. A pale youth who is shivering. Yes. He's going to turn into... Kill him straight away. Should we kill him? It's a mercy. It's a mercy. He might be suffering from the flu. He might be suffering from the flu. <laughs> Suddenly just walk up to him and slit his throat. What are, you, what are you doing? Trust me. This is an easier option. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's too coincidental. It feels so bad. <laughs> just kill him without even speaking. I know what I'm dealing with here. I've seen this many times. Oh, can we at least ask one question? Who are... Who? Excuse me. Speak quickly. What is wrong with this man? Oh, Verdry. Verdrin, you mean? I must have eaten something. It was fine. I felt sick. Fever and all, and in the morning we had to cough blood. I asked a willing, he'll make it to the border, and we'll find him a healer there. Virgin gives a few deep muffled coughs, the feverish glint in his bloodshot eyes, the glow in his cheeks, the distant look on his face. You have seen this before. This is what the unfortunate servant looked like moments before a monster erupted from his body. Yes, there is nothing you can do for him now. His signs are like the others afflicted. Any moment a monster might tear its way out of him, I suggest you step back immediately. Oh, 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 listen up. Back, back, behind the Baron. Yes, behind me. Boof. Mister. There you go. God. Just take take your wares as payment. <laughs> right, we shall continue this conversation very shortly. Time for my starters. You know, you go on holiday, you get used to three course meals, you gotta have a couple of courses when you're at home. In fact, could be three. Because of sticky toffee pudding this evening with custard. And there's me trying to bloody be back on my healthy eating. But hey, I've lost a pound. Right. 
So for starters, we have uh, Haddock Goujons in uh, a lovely batter with some onion and garlic dip. Very nice. Oh, very hot. Ooh. <gasps> oh dear. So Urquhart is basically shouting at us, blaming us for his friend's death. Some random peasant in the, in the middle of the wilderness shouting at me, the Baron. Now I appreciate, sir, that you are upset that your friend has died, but if I was in your shoes, I would calm yourself down. It's not me to blame here. It was me that killed your friend, and I mind you to watch your tongue. And whom should I blame? Or what? Who is responsible for everything that happens here? Shouldn't it be the so-called ruler who is to answer for all these deaths? Who is to answer, if not for you? <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. Could you convince him to turn back to the capital? Which is obviously going to be the goody two-shoes option. <sighs> the mood that we're in at the minute, everything has gone so tits up. We are te we are tetchy at best. We just slain some marauders. When we previously we might have maybe spared them, maybe taken the money like previously. Give us the cash that you've stolen. We'll pocket it in the treasury and we'll send you banish you instead. No, we slew them in the street. We're tetchy. We're not very uh, amenable right now. So no, you want to blather your nonsense? Then do as you will. I'm not going to convince you to go anywhere. I will simply leave. Who am I to convince you to come back to the capital, eh? You don't see where safety is? You don't put your you trust in me? Do I want your kind in my lands? I'm sick of listening to you whining. Some of you. Okay, I'm kind of just worried about wandering around aimlessly here, for no apparent reason. Am I going the right way to find this womb of Lamash to? I don't usually ask for assistance, but it's not very clear. It says upstream, right? Up, up river. So there's the fort. This to me reads up river, but I mean, technically speaking, could that be up river? Am I going completely the wrong way? I don't think so, because that scripted encounter of somebody um, infected kind of has probably given us a bit of a clue. But there's no river here, there's a lake now. And then the lake continues into a river over here. Unless the <coughs> source of the problem is over here. I mean, just say it's a cave. Is it this cave? I can't see it being that cave. Anybody know? You don't have to tell me precisely where it is, I suppose, but am I going the right way? Is a, is a question, I suppose, I could ask.
Guy Chazer de Lambert was a woodsman not unlike you. However, he favored dual elven curved blades instead of the bow. Belloc Nor was his fellow arch knight, and he was an expert marksman. It is said that he could shoot the wings off a scourge at a hundred meters. Minotaur shoot. Even if he was that good with a bow, why not just kill the scourge? <laughs> Right, okay, so we're rested, we're recuperated, it's time for us to enter the womb of Lamash 2. I'd say we're ready. Is this like a really, 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 really long dungeon? Ooh, don't look small, does it? <laughs> Uh, okay, I mean we've got plenty of time. Uh, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be my new stream time pretty much throughout the summer, just because I want to finish a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna do most streams start at half six rather than seven, British summer time, and uh, go through till about ten, maybe half nine some nights if there's if it's. Uh, a game that's conducive to a slightly shorter stream, but uh, a game like this that where time passes so f so quickly, it'll be ten o'clock before we know it, and that just gives me time to 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 kind of unwind and do a bit more pottering about on an evening uh, before I go to bed around about half twelve. So uh, I thought I'd give that a bit of a try. Right, okay. So let's uh, go into uh, stealth mode. And let's do some proper dungeon delving. It's been a little while since we did some proper dungeon delving. And what are we expecting to find here? Probably creatures. I told you Kester were dying, didn't I? I told you Kester were dying. It was bloody obvious. To all but a blind man, surely. What did I say? Keston, I just, I just felt it in my waters. It was obvious. Greater enraged Albert. How dare you! Keston, is that you? He seems to have fallen. Quickly. Kill this beast and see if we can offer aid. In a minute, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm trying to cast a s spell. Right, go. As you approach, Keston groans and tries to raise his head. You see huge raking claw marks covering his body from the Albert's attack. It's a miracle he still breathes. You, oh, you came, Cap Capital. Yes! Rest in peace! <laughs> I've been giving up on him already! Keston! Keston! <laughs> Don't you die on me, Keston! Like he's like some important character. I mean, we've seen him a handful of times. He's not exactly one of our closest aides, is he, to be fair to him? Bless him. <sighs> but still! Isn't that so bad? We defended the capital, Kester. Rest in peace. <laughs> You're gonna die, Kester. There's no hope for you. Rest. But I want to kind of tell him. I want to give him the good news. Where is this? We don't give him anything. We don't give him any news at all. Whereas that, we give him some news, which may last seconds of life. Ah, it wasn't wasn't all in vain, you know, kind of situation. <sighs> If we ask this, if we say this, I don't think we're going to get another chance to say anything else. 
No, come on, we're, 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 not, we're not foolish. We, we can see clearly he's gravely injured, shaking him, shouting at him, trying to motivate him. He's not going to get him up. He's got a grievous wound. Let's give him some, let's give him some good news. Maybe we'll miss out, miss out the rest in peace part, like, but... <sighs> Ignore the question of a dying man. Abadar be praised. Yes. Closes his eyes. Relief on his face. We give him some final good news. Uh. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, that was a dramatic death there. Now we say rest in peace. He's dead. You don't take rest. You don't say rest in peace to somebody who's still clearly alive, even if just for a few seconds. You know, I'm still clinging on. Rest in peace, mate. Oh. Full plate armor. It's heavy, but it's uh, it sells for a little bit. Owl bear skin. We'll take, we'll take the skin of this beast and we'll stick it on the wall. Remind us of Keston. <laughs> make a rug, make a rug out of it. Call it Keston's rug. This is uh, this is Keston's rug. Oh, is that the name of the fabric? No, no of course not, you fool. It's the name of the person this that this beast killed <laughs> before we killed it and turned it into a rug. Oh. The least we could do to honour him, you know. Naturally. Oh, there's just too much things to organise here. Forget it. I'm trying to organise my inventory. In the middle of a dungeon of all places. Right, let's move on. Takes me back to the days of Baldur's Gate when you actually when you had to manage your inventory in the middle of a dungeon because you only had so little inventory slots. You had to make the decision of where when to leave the loot behind, you know. Because you couldn't carry it all. Quite the quandary. Back when computer games used to be hardcore, you know, give people that same conundrum now, and be, uh, the vast majority of the casual gamers out there, oh, I don't like it. All Why can't we carry everything? Why don't we have a portless inventory like in the other CRPGs that we played? Because, my friends, this is hardcore. But I don't like it. I want to carry everything. Well, you can't. So you're going to have to put something back. What kind of an RPG is this? We've got to put things back. As it should be. The kind of RPG that if your character is dead, your character is dead forever. Gone. What more do you mean? No reviving, no restorations, dead, dead. No death doors. The RPG from hell. Let's make it an RPG from hell. There's no tinkering with the options. You get one difficulty. Extreme. <laughs> Inventory, sufferance, dead, dead characters. You know, it's an ordeal just to finish the game. If you finish the game, you've done very well because 60% of people won't finish it because they'll all be dead. And they'll have been they've had a miserable time getting there. <sighs> yes, make that. Meanwhile, in Resident Evil, you have to manage your inventory space instead of wait. Oh, I remember those days. Resident Evil. Something bothering you? Yes, this chest here may have a lock on it. I wish to open it with assistance. In due time. Looks like a bit of a bloom. Looks like a little bit of a bloom type situation. I'll try to escape their view. Ooh, purple. This is a dead end. Don't be locked. 
Is this the end of the road? This is a dead end. What is this trickery? What's going on? Hmm. I reckon that might be the exit. You go all the way around and fight some stuff and then that opens up for you as a shortcut back. It's gotta be. It's gotta serve a purpose, be it but surely, what the hell? Follow my lead. Right, have we got another Okay, so we've got now a middle path. So we've checked out the bottom path, we have a middle path, and we have a top path. I mean, poor Kester, we asked him to come and cl come and sort the monsters out here, and he fell at the first the first hurdle. I mean, there may be monsters outside that we've that we've not seen. He's fought his way through umpteen monsters just to get here. But to me, it looked like he fell at the first hurdle. Disappointing. Ooh, traps, secret items, and primal giant spiders. Oh. Oh. I shall end this suffering. Oh. Coming out of the ether, no less. Just get, what are you doing? Just get stuck in, will you? There you go. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, we've been flanked by a randomly appearing spiders here, folks. The two uh, rogues are going to have to take it on so on their own. There we go. Good, good work team, good work, good work. It was a bit hairy there for a moment, but we got there in the end. More dog tags. It is finished. Okay, that's sorted. We've got chest here. All according to plan. Ooh. Nice. Oh, more chests. I mean, if anything, this is a very lucrative cave. Advantage of inspired wisdom plus four. That plus two. Indeed, it is. Fancy an upgrade, Tristan? Of course I do. Uh, of course you do. Okay. And another chest. And. Looks to be another dead end. Okay, that's two dead ends, which means that we need to go up to the northern path or the northeastern path or whatever path orientation it might be, the topmost path, and see what's up here. 
and trying to figure out what the hell's going on. But uh, I'm just going to go get my dinner, so I'll be back in a second. Their sight betrays them. I just love it when it feels so hot you can't eat it. Oh, burnt my mouth out. Hell, such is my greed. Right, what more spidery things? Oh, and a big trap. Which we don't need to walk into, do we, Valerie? No, we don't. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh. Ooh, 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 watch. No, 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 no. Elquist. Can you... Can you... Undo the trap? No, you can't. Try again. A trivial matter. Oh, there we go. Trivial matter. Tri trivial matter, disarming this thing in the middle of combat. Do it with one hand while stabbing a spider with the other. Simple. Getting too, co too cocky nowadays, Elvis. Too cocky nowadays. Ah, well, I'm an esteemed baron now. I'm a saviour of my people now. Don't you know? More primal spiders. This is opening up into a rather large ch chamber, which I'm not completely happy about. But of course, that it's going to be. It's got to be some kind of a bossy type thing. Giant slugs are poisonous. Delay poison then would be useful. And protection from acid would be useful because I think they spit acid too, right? Protection from evil communal. No. Protection. It's not resist. No, resist is a lot. 10 minutes. Resist acid. I think they spit acid. Okay, there you go. Enemy approaching. Uh oh. 
Valerie, come here. Just because Knock Knock is going to get it right in the face. Man, she's got 30 AC. It's not, it's not exactly like really easy to hit. Okay, let's go take the giant slug down. Somebody pass me the salt. In due time. What's this? It's like a sword. The sword in the stone. Some kind of a pick. Split path scenario. We've got going up that way, or we've got going straight up. <clears throat> Let's go left first. Oh, red caps. And it ran off as well. It's seen us and it's ran off. It's gone, gone, it's gone to report to its master. Mind you, if there's a, one of them creatures down here, aren't they tied to like. Nereads and stuff, like fey stuff. Which is not good. All according to plan. I was down here. We're branching off in directions not foreseen. Edible moss and a giant slug. Well, we might as well kill it while we've got our protections on. Yeah. Kill it just like that, nice and quick. Goodbye, Mr. Slug. Goodbye, Mr. Slug. Let's open some of these chests. Follow my lead. We'll go with Lindsay's competence just because it doesn't we don't have to cast it every time. What we do with uh, Tristian's uh, blessing of the, of the of the faithful thing? Dinosaur bones. What are dinosaur Anything bones possible. doing down here? Okay, so <clears throat> we've got round the top, which kind of leads back to the round here, which is where the red caps were. We've got down this way. Rather intriguing. Red caps. In due time. Or the unknown. Let's go, the red caps. Red caps, red caps, where are you? I'll try to escape their view. Where are you? That's trapped, obviously. Just the one. Can't be. That is not far. There is not just we one. We will be victorious. Oh, it's oh oh! S surprise attack! Surprise attack! Shoot! Oh no! Oh, they're all oh, oh they're all coming out of the woodwork here! Oh! Oh, we're getting s oh oh! Summon, 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 skeleton, summon something. Keep him at bay. Oh, fine. Let us try this one. <laughs> 
Just maybe a heal, just a preemptive heal. Okay, that's good. Good. The skeletons take care of the spiders. We take care of these spiders up here. Good, good, good. Now we've got control. This red cap isn't even moving. Oh, it's just a web trap. It's okay, we've got ranged. Trouble here. Training pays off. Got Elquist. Got Elquist. He's loving it. I say he's loving it. He's getting attacked. He's getting hit quite badly. Ranged people. Take care of that one, please. Cannot hide from me. My god, that was quite uh Let me get rid of the trap now. That's quite the uh Falcata. Quite the ambush situation was that, wasn't it? A daisy. I'll do. Shard of the Knight's Braces. That's it for this area. Just a few ambushes. Nothing to worry about. As it should be. I don't know if those spiders can poison you, but we've got the protection from poison still on, the delayed poison, so that's definitely helping us. Right, this is the only way we can go. This All is, according This is to the play. only way open to us in this entire map. So it's got to be the right way. Oh, I hate it when there's a bloody trap right in the middle of it. Everybody stealth. Everybody stealth. Ready for anything. And everybody back. And everybody back. Doggies to the front. Mallory to the front. Everybody else just halt. Poison fortitude save. So they can poison. There's the answer to my question. Everybody else? That's rock and roller. It. Well, you see all the explosions, the sneak attack damage, the attacks of opportunity that are kicking off, outflank kicking in. Oh, it's just an explosion of goodness. When all the when all the synergies and all the perks all kind of kick in together to cause this great big. I'm listening. Uh, you know, massive exploding bodies. Which is the uh, <clears throat> due time. the progress of our party? Yeah, well, 
We saw that coming a mile off, my friend. Wherever there's a red cap, there's trickery and ambushes. Uh oh. Doggy, come here. Help Elquist, please. I might want a bit of help. You forced my hand. There we go. Now we can. Uh, there we go. There we go. Masterwork scythe, no less. And a red. Oh, there was a red cap trickster and a red cap there. Just slipped in the back door, didn't he? Ooh! There's a door? A deeper down door? What? There's another level? To a twisted passage, no less. Holy flipping moly. Right, well, we're not going to descend into the twisted passage just yet because I'm going to eat my dinner. Then we'll descend into the twisted passage. So, uh, what time are we on? 2042. It'll probably take me a good 10 minutes to eat this plate of food. So, uh, 2052, we shall return to deal with uh, a twisted passage to see uh, where it takes us. So, uh, back in a second.
Righty ho! <coughs> Ready to dive into the twisted passage then. <clears throat> I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. No, no room for dessert, I'm afraid. Uh, <coughs> chicken Kiev. But uh, not just your regular chicken Kiev. It was, uh, I don't know if anybody's had something similar, but I've, first I've come across it, it was a chicken Kiev on the bone. So you had the chicken leg attached to the the leg and the whatever else, the bit of the leg around the thigh maybe, bit of the thigh, whatever. Uh, and, and the chicken cave was incorporated into all of that. From Max and Spencer's as well. It was delicious. Uh, but rather than the chicken Kiev being just a little breast thing, with it being the, the leg and the, the surrounding area, it was rather large, rather filling. Bit of cauliflower cheese and uh, a few chips. Well, I'm stuffed now, so there'll be no pudding tonight. So I might have to save that for a maybe for Friday as a treat. Have a treat down Friday. So anyway, we are here. Let's descend down and uh, see what horrors await. Oh, we've got two doors. What the hell? Twisted passage, twisted passage, loot. Okay, it's getting, it's getting silly now. It's getting silly. It's turning into a flipping crystal maze all of a sudden. If we get out of here alive, we'll have some nice loot. To show for it. We might be able to afford a bag of holding now. Proper one. Composite longbow. Not that this is going to be any better than Akundio's current bow, which is rather kick-ass, but hey, frost composite longbow. Ooh. Devourer of metal? Much better. Sorry about that. Frost bow. Oh no, it's not ornament to us, I'm afraid. No chance. No chance in hell. Right. Do we take door number one or do we take door number two? Door number one. Oh no! It is properly a maze. Oh, get lost. Stupid. <sighs> right, okay. Back through door number one. Let's go through that door. This looks more like a dead end door. With mushrooms in it. But I want to kill everything, so let's do it. That is not far. Kill everything. We may live to regret that. Oh, it's a spider swarm! Oh, we will live to regret it. Oh sh Shooting hell, how do we kill these things? Fire! Alchemist bombs. Where are they? 23. There you go. Lindsay's good at them. How about a fireball? Control fireball. That'll kill them. Kill them now. Kill. You throw that, Lindsay. You'll have a couple of bombs. Okay, we got them. We got them. I think we got them. I think we got them. Just about. Jesus. That's a close call. Can we kill the one that's like Elquist, please? Go! Oh, Jesus. Well, that was Primal Spider Matriarch. Did we kill one of them? Must have done. Where's my mushrooms? That's all I came in here for, really. I love mushroom soup. In due time. <gasps> Swarms. Oh, yes, they do. It's a good job we got that fireball spell. Because they obviously they're weak to fire. 
So it's the perfect spell for them because it's a controlled fireball. Means we don't have to worry about hitting ourselves either. So that's pretty decent. Our saving grace. Ooh, look at that. Wand of Lightning Bolt. Add it to the list of ones we never use. It's turning into another typical RPG experience with me. Collect all these things, never use them. Unless it's like a really, really tough fight, and then they all come out. All the ones will be out, all the potions, all the oils. But until then, they'll stay in our bag and get dusty, if you don't mind. Right, okay, so this is down to there. I've missed some mushrooms. I've missed some mushrooms! Come all this way! I think a spider body's covering one of them. Right, let's get down. There we go. And we've got a door going down or a door going across. Or going across, looks like it might be another dead end kind of situation, so we'll do that one first. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, look, this is like the pastures already explored, isn't it? Pastures already explored. Right, those kind of pastures. Our victory oh! Is certain. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, oh no, 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 I hate it when they swarm you, oh, we're in big trouble here this time, we're in a really bad position. Who's that? That's Valerie. Who's that? She's getting out of the situation quite nicely, actually. Can you, can you meander kind of up that way, Lindsay? <coughs> Christy needs to kind of move a bit. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's it. You'll kill a few. Lindsay, that's it. Turn and shoot. It's always Elquist. He just gets Doom Spiders. Primal Spider Matriarch. Where's Doggy gone? Come down. Right, Elquist. That's be, that would be a good time to do acrobatics. And then jink away if you can. Maybe up that way. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, God! <laughs> We're in pro we, got, we got a problem, folks. Lindsay's back in trouble. Come down, Lindsay. We've got a spider swarm again. Which means control fireball will have to come out. Again. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. This is a mess. This is a royal mess. Who's dying now? Kundio's dying. Spider Swarm. Is he casting this spell or what? Shh. Oh, it's not dead. He's a oh, guy. It's not dead. We're almost dead. That's not dead, right, Lindsay? I hate this system. This belt system thing. Oh, another one there. Oh, she's got a fire sword. That seemed to have killed it. This is where I step in. Oh, people are falling here. This was not part of the plan. Yeah, her, her flame sword kill, kills the, 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 the spiders. 
We're all lying on the floor in a mess. So I couldn't do it back up. I see. This place is my family. Oh, Saren Ray. Oh, I see your life. Jesus wept. Valerie, knock knock. Right, uh, Lindsay. Take Lindsay out of there. Can we not kind of get on one creature at a time? It might be easier. Take care of that. Take care of that. Well, not you, Lindsay. Absolutely horrendous. Absolutely. <sighs> Stick that on. And here, like your life depends on it. It'd be helpful if we were all in <laughs> the heel. <sighs> I'm traumatized. been rather galling if we'd have gone through all of that and had not been able to unlock the chest. Right here, my friend. Ooh. That might be the same belt that we've already got. Belt of physical form, Dex and Con. Yeah. Metal ring shardy things. I wonder if we've got anywhere near enough of those to uh, craft the item that we need from it. Let's have a look at where we're going next on this magical mystery tour. Down, I'd suggest, is the way to go. Right, we have to be very careful now how we position ourselves. All according to play. Very carefully. I mean, they come from all around, which is half the problem. But we have to. Oh, no, 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 no. Obviously, we're going to get lynched, aren't we? Obviously, we're getting lynched. I mean, it's called Twisted Passage. I'm, get, I'm, I'm now beginning to understand the terminology here. You know what I mean? I don't want to move. <laughs> well, just stay here. Am I the scenery? Focus on the goal. I can go down that way, which seems to lead somewhere maybe positive. This way seems to lead back up that way, so that's not the way to go. So let's just bypass this room if we can without triggering anything. As it should be. I mean, maybe running into this corner might trigger something. I mean, it might not. Oh, this is taking us out. In which case... Uh, 
which case Ooh. A long journey through the caves stretching around Silverstep Lake brought our brave heroes to another large narrow crack in the wall. This time, however, the crack looked different from the previous ones. We started to realise that we were nearing something mysterious and magical. More and more strange vegetation appeared on the cave walls and floor. Mould and lichen gave way to huge flowers, enormous mushrooms and even some bushes brimming with berries big and bountiful. The crack itself was as odd as its surroundings. Within it seemed pure darkness, thick and deep, roiling beyond the crack. But what space lay beyond, none of us could guess. We all noticed a draught from the crack that seemed to rise and fall, like breathing, stirring the dust motes within the musty cave. So what did our heroes do? <clears throat> of course we surveyed the situation. One needn't be a druid to understand the plants under our feet were unusual, to say the very least. They were too big and too tall, and the huge flowers had unnatural shades that made the eyes hurt to look at them. Perhaps it was the soil they grew in that caused them to grow in such a way, but who could tell for certain? The plants blanketed not just the floor, but the walls too. Here and there in the darkness we could see gleaming islands of luminescent lichen. If that wasn't intriguing enough, stalks grew from the lichen and on the ends hung big multifaceted fruits. Maybe the seeds of these strange plants had found their way here, blown by the wind from the narrow fissure. After all, it was strong enough to stir the moats of the cave, even part a hair or two on our fellows' heads. As if on cue, we caught a faint smell of pollen from the other side of the crack. Perhaps beyond was the source of the strange garden. Readying ourselves, we decided to act. The first of us started to squeeze through the crack, cursing and grunting. Your humble servant following right behind. The Baron's chronicler can't allow a tiniest detail to escape her attention. So I had to be as close to the front as possible. This time our path to the adventure proved little to our liking. The crack in the rock was narrow even for me and led us further and further, curving and twisting until I'd quite lost my bearings. The wind from the other side became stronger and blew into our faces, bringing new smells, fresh grass, fragrant buds and sweet blossoms. Then suddenly the ground gave way. The path had become a sinkhole. Blood rushed up to my head. My stomach sank to my feet and I had the most peculiar dizzying sensation. My body was pulled in two directions at once as, it, as if divided across some strange wall that separated here from there until I was truly there and no longer here. I had no time to be afraid. My fall was quick and my landing was soft. We fell right into a cushion of thick high grass. Putting myself, uh, herself together, your humble servant immediately started to look around, asking what happened. Where had she been whisked off to with the brave Baron? I confess, even for me, it was hard to choose the right words to describe what lay before our eyes. Uh... Hello, nice creature. Nice creature, friendly creature. Something not hideous. Spiders. Spiders? Other world. I think we should probably start buffing. <laughs> really, at this point. Okay, again, I will start with the long casts. <coughs> Oh, nice music. How long is this for? One minute per level. Ten minutes? Okay, let's, let's roll with it. One minute per level. I've got to be quick. Magic fan. Gats Grace. I kind of forgotten that it's actually one minute per level of his five minutes okay because it's um per his level that he got the spell not his actual level of 10 uh, but nonetheless it's still a decent uh, cast time uh, a decent time on the countdown has he got his mage armor on yes he has 31 minutes let's get a bless cast Oh, 
Screw it, we're gonna cast a shield. One minute per level. It's only two minutes. Where's lead blades? How long's that? That's one minute. Short of popping potions, then this is probably as Beyond good God. as we're going to get it. How long's that for? One minute per level. That's pretty decent. Okay. Seven minutes. So these give us some time to kill any minions before we encounter the big creature. And then we can top up with our hastes and our potions and our other little spells that will just kind of keep us ticking over. I won't cast Inspire Courage just yet. Let's take on these quick spiders if we can. Let's just save it first. Are they going to like pop out from all, due time, from all angles again? There was another way. What kind of music's this? New music? Oh no. Lindsay, here. Acundio, here. Elquist, here. Knock Knock, here. Valerie, here. Just wait for the spiders to get to position and then we'll take care of the problem. Where are you going? No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? You damn idiot! Oh, the spiders come out of nowhere. Oh, shoot. Take care of that one. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Good shot. Another one's coming. Another one's coming, Lindsay. Lindsay. Knife time. Okay, let's regroup. Let's regroup. Let's regroup. A couple of people suffered a couple of wounds there. Adventures she's call to them. she's got like a cure wound, hasn't she? Spell. Just the one. Not the best, is it really? But. <sighs> time's not waiting. Gotta be careful with the timings here because we do have buffs that we are working with. <laughs> Let's go. Quick sticks. The bird with bright iridescent feathers sings its song and shows no fear as you approach. What bird? This. How's that? Bird. It's a bird man. Oh look, it's singing to us. How how lovely. What a lovely bird. That is not far. Completely not a bird of doom or death and destruction. Clearly not. Can we not go in this haze? Oh what the hell? Oh no. <laughs> what the hell have we done? Oh wh why are we walking why are we walking through portals? Is it just the other side of that portal that we've just come through now? Is 
She's coming. How dare she? She's lost. Punishment. We demand punishment. Maybe we should follow the footsteps of where she went. Just a thought. Oh, wisps. Get ready. Yes, Lord. Listen. What the hell is that? Listen to me, trespasser. You saw a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Apology. Get ready. Yes, Lord. Listen. As you sought to steal a kingdom for yourself, so must you do again. A thousand times over. For a theft, a true theft must be practiced to be earned. It will be a lengthy task. This is how it shall be measured. Make ruins of kingdoms. When each is dust, the grains shall gather in this vessel. When a thousand grains are gathered, bring it before us as an offering, so that an eldest may sit from it. When that is done, your trespass shall be forgiven. Where will I find so many nations? It is... An impossible task! How? No. Let your unrequited love guide you. Guide you to your first kingdom. So it shall again. Seek it. Hunt for it. Lust for it. Let the emptiness inside you become your deadliest weapon. It is not an impossible task. After all, what use is an apology that cannot ever be given? Get it. The Lantern King. The Lantern King. So this Guardian of the Bloom character is... Uh, being commanded to do something, design, you know, crumbling kingdoms to dust as an apology for something. I might have to read that conversation again when I uh, look back on the video. Feels very significant. Right, we've got the dace. of oppressiveness hangs over the days. Oh. Ooh. Almost like it's asking us to put something on the days. Maybe to activate something. Not a clue. Okay. Right, uh, let's step, let's step this way. Step on in! And we come out right back at the beginning <coughs> of this thing. Oh no! This is where the bird was. The bird with bright iridescent feathers. We're back at the bird. We're back at the bird. Uh, everyone who tried to claim them failed.
Same again? No, different. This is a different area. Or different part of the same area. Oh no, different area. Old gnome and a fireplace. The gnome looks old, worn, and is covered in a layer of dust, as if he has sat here for some time without moving. His back is hunched, and as you approach, he tilts his head up to you, giving off or giving an odd half smile. Come, child, come closer, don't be scared. The sound of your footsteps reminded me of. The gnome dips his head and goes silent, although his lips remain moving as if he is speaking silently to himself. Yes, so are you? What is this place? You children are always so curious. Questions, more questions, and some more questions. Which should I answer first? Who are you? I'm just an old man, a remnant of the past, in a world that cares as little for time as you care about the air you breathe. So many things lost, and so many people left, and still I'm here. And what is this place? This is the beginning that was before all other beginnings. The echo born before sound. This is the mark on the margins of sacred text. Made by gods when they got bored. This is the world, but unlike all other worlds. The first world, Elquist uh, chirping up here. Where else? Indeed. Yes, I've seen an uh, odd vision of a woman, uh, many others, in this mist here. They appeared before me and then vanished. Do you know anything about that? The goddess once passed here, the proud one, the bitter one, the one who fell so far, yet never has fallen to her knees. Her steps still echo, taste the silence. The salt in the air is her tears, and when you blink, there's something in a corner of your eye, a shadow, a vision, a memory. When you approached for a moment, I thought I saw her again. The way you walk, this power you radiate, and a ghostly crown of a newborn kingdom upon your brow. It cannot be seen, but I see the weight your shoulders bear carrying it. Your connection with her, with she who fell. It is stronger than you think. Yes, well, uh, <coughs> some troubling events brought me here. Maybe you know something about what's happening. So much meaning can be hidden in one maybe. Ask away. Uh, monsters. Emerging from sea portals. <laughs> no, 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 do you know anything about that? Monsters? <clears throat> no, no. They are just creatures, frightened as you and I would be so far from home. They've lived here with me for a time countless, and were my only friends before the bloom tore the world. It's not their fault. Seal the bloom, and they will trouble your world no longer. Seal the bloom. Uh, now exactly can we get out of here? It is possible to leave this place. Yes, possible. But to cross back, you'll need to bear the brunt of her wrath. But it is not something you can find. It is something you must inspire. You have to follow her, the goddess who fell. You have to see the world through her eyes. Recognize her voice among thousands of other voices. Go down her path. Awaken her wrath, then you'll be able to return home. Riddle me re! Riddle me this, riddle me that! Who is this goddess? She wanted to become more than she was. She dared to claim something that was not hers. So powerful was the song of her pride, and so quickly it was silenced. Just a night, a single night in prison, in loneliness in anticipation of her future fate, and her pride became fear, and fear it burrows deep like the worst of all poisons, desperation. Do you know how such emotion tastes, child? Don't even think about drinking this poison. 
Take a drop of it to the place where the seeds of wrath have sprouted. When the wrath awakens and fills everything around, you'll become a step closer to your home and to defeating the bloom. Follow my story. Watch everything closely. Listen carefully. Unknown can be hidden inside known, and much that is unusual lies concealed behind the usual. Take my lantern with you. It will help you to light your way. And know this. Not today and not tomorrow, but you will recall the fallen goddess. <laughs> okay. The short version. Okay. Desperation. The one is dead poisons the clear waters. What is dead poisons the clear waters. The poison born of death is what can awaken the wrath and awaken the path. Poison wrath? This is and that means. <laughs> yeah, just, just write it down, Lindsay. We'll, we'll fathom it out later. Write it down, word for word, quickly. Poison wrath, usual, unusual. <laughs> and, and a lantern. The hell? Solve the nose riddle. Right. <laughs> Shut that off for a second. Riddle me this and riddle me that. Right. Uh, he speaks in riddles, but he seems friendly. The note advises us to follow the visions that unveil the stories from fallen goddess and awaken her wrath, whatever that means. Right. Let's just see this lantern. Yeah. Just see this lantern. Lantern, 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 lantern. In oh, there it is. Look. Magical lantern. Shines with phantasmal blue light. I should take that. Don't mind, thank you. Oh, well, it's like a Christmas tree. Oh, shall we walk through with our, with our lanterns lit? Go. I think we can walk through the blue with our lanterns lit. Ah ha! We can walk through the blue. Walk through the mist with our lanterns on. That's an interesting proposition. Follow my lead. Take it off. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Right, okay. Let's kill some animals. Why not? Maybe that'll cause some anger. This kind of fight. Do not fall tough. There's some cool music down here. this it's like water God ooh she's vanished She's vanished. All according to plan. This is such a cool area, isn't it? The music is great, the the the, the setting. The pond is deep and the water cold. You can sip the water, gaze into the water, skip a stone across the water. I don't fancy drinking it. What did the what did the gnome say? Let's just gaze for a starter. 
Reflection of a beautiful woman sitting on the bank weeping, but as soon as you blink, the image is gone. Okay, let's leave the water for now. It does not disturb the water unnecessarily. Until we've got all of our bearings. Oh dear, what's happened now? Greater enraged owl bear. <gasps> Two of them. I'll try to make this the beginning of the hunt. Hello, clockwork. Ooh. Okay, it's fine. We can't fail it. We can't fail it. To victory! Ah, spider swamp! Help me! Let Valerie kill it. She's got the sword of fire. Nobody, no, no, nobody, no, no, nobody else attack them. What is happening? In due time. Hello, Clockwork. Good evening. Uh, yes, my holiday was not too bad. Not too bad. I know what Apart to from do. the part when I got ill. Oh, sheesh kebab. Right, okay. Oh my god, how fast are they? Ah! Actually, Lindsay's pretty good at killing them just, with, just a, with a thunderbolt of a weapon. No, no, I've got tonsillitis. Oh, why am I... Oh. Everybody hit it! A trivial matter. Tell us not a trivial matter, those blasted swarms of doom! As it should be. Are we all presence and able. Kill it. Calculated risk. Somebody kill it, Lindsay. Stop missing, Lindsay. I am prepared. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. No mistakes. Oh shit. So it's come to this. Oh. Come on, Lindsay. Hit it. Come on. Come on, you fools.
Focus on the goal. Oh, we've killed we have killed so many manner of creatures. Greater enraged owl bears. Owl bears that are the size of buildings. Hydras. But it is poxy little swarms of spiders that cause such a grief. Oh, no! Leave them be! We don't... No, leave them! Don't go near it! No! God! No! We will prevail! Oh. King Elfire! Still sunlight almost 10 pm. Uh, yes, it is still uh, light outside, which is why I've not put my coloured lights on because it's going to be light here until at least sort of quarter past 10 ish. Well, about 10 ish, quarter past 10. It starts to get dark. Tomorrow is the longest day of the year. Yeah, it's sunlight. It's not sunlight, it's still day, it's still light outside. Tomorrow is the summer equinox. Which means it's downhill from there, folks, because winter is coming. Ready for anything. I love after all that drama and that horror of little spiders biting your ankles. The lovely calming music plays, as if it's like, well. You know, that wasn't that wasn't an issue for you, was it? Surely not. Not of no, uh, not of course not, my dear. It was a lovely, relaxing experience. Yes, like sitting in a Turkish steam room. You know, that was uh, apart from the pills. That was the one thing that actually helped my tonsillitis, the pain with the back of my throat, um, was actually sitting in the steam room for about for about fifteen minutes. You couldn't sit in for longer than 15 minutes, but yeah, it's hot. But um, yeah, because of the steam, and it, it was one of those that's got the aroma therapy oils running through, or vapors running through the steam room as well. So the flavored vapors and the hot steam was very soothing on the throat when you when you inhale it in. It was really nice, actually. See what all, see what also was good for soothing the throat, rum. No coke, just rum, ice. Shh, shh, shh. My sky, like your song, is so sad today. What troubles you? The last order, my lady. It frightens me. The seed of an ever blooming flower is almost prepared as you requested, but what will it bring? Death! Flower contains immense power, power from which immense evil can be born. Monsters erupting on Galarian by the hundreds in a crowded street, a busy tavern, near a baby's crib. Huh? That's exactly what I need. He wanted to see kingdoms in ruins? He will. It's all part of the Grand Master Plan! Ginger works wonders. Yeah, so it sounds like to me that the perfect drink when you've got a sore throat is rum and ginger beer. Perfect. Perfect. Rum and ginger beer. Hell, have it warm for all I care. Warm rum and ginger beer. Oh yeah. Oh yes indeed. Quite the tonic. Oh, not primal giant spiders that are going to pop up at a moment's notice everywhere you flipping look. Of course it is. Of 
course it is. Knock, knock, you're on your own, buddy. Spider, over there. Valerie, up there. Lindsay, pull back. Tristian, pull back. Kundio, pull back. Elquist, go over there. This will hurt. If they come from behind us, we're, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> Kill them quickly. What's up with you? What are you on the tits for, Elquist? What's wrong with you? I don't know, I'm a bit crippled. Oh, shoot. In due time. Can't get over how different this music is to the to the rest of the game so far, but how how flipping good it is. Hey. Ah! Ah! Doom spider! That hurt? Right, do we walk through this with our flower power belt with our flower power? Or do we go through it as a portal? What's best? I don't think it goes. Dawnflower, oh. guide my hand. Hey, true. Okay. Should we focus on killing the creatures before we assess the situation with whether we should be walking through portals or going, th having them activate on us? Right, let's try walking through it first. Probably leads nowhere because it's a dead end, right? It's a dead end. Right, so walking through that one, not so useful. All according to plan. But being teleported through it would probably be more useful, right? But where would it take us? We wonder. I know what to do. Was so it all our buffs have run out at this point? Okay, let's go. Teleport. Ooh. Ever blooming flower. This is new. Uh, okay. The ever blooming flower. All right. Oh. I didn't see you there, mister. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, we've got one of those red dreamer verns. Let's try this one. Two tanks are looking a little bit battered. See, that's a dead end as well. So, the other blooming flower is the only thing to talk to here. the channels again but might as well you expend them Our dog is very injured Oh, that's kill critical. Death ward could be useful. Protection from energy, communal, summon monster. Yeah, less useful. What 
I am prepared. The ever-blooming flower. The petals of this huge flower are glowing with a soft light and its scent carries a hint of spice, which you find strangely relaxing. Despite this, however, you can't help but notice the sprouts and spikes of the plant look fanged. Almost predatory. This is the source of the disaster. I'm going to be finishing this stream very shortly. So I'm going to finish it in a blaze of, blaze of horror as we die trying to kill this flower. And it grows again. Because it's ever blooming. <laughs> okay. All right. Touche, Mr. Flower, touche. That was far too easy, obviously. <laughs> oh, right, where are we? I don't know. In the middle of a glade. About to be attacked by something or someone or somewhere or somehow lost in a perpetual world with nice music almost lost but how can we find our way out of this this mystery Oh, hang on. Hang on, chaps. We have a way down here. Follow my lead. It's like a maze. The puzzle is very hard. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Elquist is a bit knackered here. I don't know why, but something's wrong with him. He's got acrobatics on. Oh, flipping hell! All this time! This should do it. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, hey, God. Serves you right. <laughs> Bloody menacing, man, menacing. Since that's is that the isn't this the same pool of water? Or is it a different pool? Are these monsters respawning? Same water that we've been to before, but there were no animals there last time, were there? This pool. Maybe we should. Maybe we should drink from the pool. In due time. Maybe we should drink from the pool. Water tastes bitter with a trace of salt. As the salt touches the tongue, you feel a sharp pain in your heart, and it's, 
as if suddenly stabbed. Not with a blade, but with a painful memory of something lost. Well, we're still alive. Got no debuffs on us, thankfully. Elkish, what are you doing? That was foolhardy. Foolhardy, man. Is this where the gnome was, right? Or not? Oh, we haven't been. Have we not been this way? Oh, we haven't been here yet because we haven't walked through with the uh, lantern. Come here, Bax. Not gonna stab you. That is not far. A door! <gasps> a door. We found a door. We found a door. We found a door. Uh, no, no, no hints just yet, thank you. Uh, right, we found a door, which probably leads back to the Twisted Passage, right? Does it or does it not? Let's have a look. I mean, we're going to have to rest now. We're getting rather knackered. Um, Time's not waiting. Time's not waiting for no man, for no woman, no child. Let's go through this door. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. Oh, we've come to a new area. Hidden creep hole. We found a hidden creep hole, people. Oh, this thing is very dangerous. It's just killed our dog. It's about to kill Valerie next. Oh, it's just mangled Elquist. Oh, it's just about to kick Valerie's ass. She's down. Dead. Buff, there goes the next person. And there goes her, and there goes Tristan. I see your light. Go, Lindsay! And then we were all dead. Just like that. That was a bloody uh, hidden creep hole and a half, wasn't it? There is a dead body here, though. It's probably worth looting. And given how strong that creature is, I think it's probably worth killing that. But of course, we're going to have to buff to do that because uh, it's uh, a little bit tougher than we perhaps gave it credit for, isn't it? But it's now 10 o'clock near enough, so I will stick to my plan and finish at 10. And in the next session, we shall take on this enlarged owl like tree ant thing again and be much more proficient this time, I'm sure, uh, and see what. Uh, we can discover in here. But yes, it's a big riddle for us to solve. A big riddle. And, uh, well, currently, not got a clue. Just uh, bum bumbling along, bumbling through and seeing what happens. But uh, at some point, we're going to have to put two and two together and uh, come up with four, not uh, 52. Welcome, Hala. So uh, thank you for watching this evening. It's good to be back. And uh, yes, the next stream uh, will be on Wednesday. So uh, yeah, we'll carry on with that. So uh, enjoy your week ahead. And uh, whatever you're choosing to do, it's going to be quite a warm one here in the UK. It's going to be a nice steady 20, mid 20s for the rest of the week. Apart from Friday and Saturday, where it's going to start to rain again. Anyway. So yeah, have a good one, folks, and uh, yeah, see you on Wednesday, hopefully. So uh, yeah, enjoy, and until then, see you soon. <laughs>